This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you a comparison video between the Adidas F50 Addy Zero My Coach 1 in leather and the Adidas F50 Addy Zero My Coach 2 in leather. It's fair to say that the Addy Zero in leather has easily become one of the most popular high-end soccer shoes currently on the market, and for good reason. While I wasn't a huge fan of the Addy Zero My Coach 1 on the leather side of things, or the synthetic to be completely honest with you, I feel like Adidas has made huge improvements in the Addy Zero line, both on the synthetic and leather side of things, and I think it's fair to say that this is easily the best version of the leather Addy Zero that we have seen to date. If you have worn them or haven't worn them yet and you're planning on it, trust me you're going to love this leather Addy Zero, especially if you have been wearing the leather Addy Zeros in the past as far as past models are concerned. Um, as far as comparing these two shoes, um, there's not a huge, whole lot of differences between the two. What Adidas really has done here is they've changed the upper and they've changed the fit ever so slightly, um, but in the long run it makes for a huge impact on the overall feel and overall quality of the shoe in my opinion, which I will explain a little bit later. As far as getting all the details on how these shoes fit, feel, and perform, you are going to want to check out the forward reviews on my website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com. You're going to get a ton of information from this video, but if you want the minute details that are going to give you kind of the precise measurements and the overall width and exactly how the shoe fits and feels, you're going to get all of that information from those forward reviews. So you can find links to both the reviews for the My Coach 1 and the My Coach 2 linked down below in the description. So go ahead and check that out if that does interest you. As far as what's exactly the same on both of these two models, it is the Sprint Frame, which is the one piece plastic sole plate and heel counter labeled as the sprint frame that's what adidas calls it it is the newer version of the sprint frame that we saw introduced originally on the my coach one but it remains exactly the same on the my coach two um, it's basically a one piece plastic sole plate it is my coach compatible as are most of adidas's uh, shoes at nowadays and of course you do have that triangular stud pattern again if you want more information on the overall performance of aspects of this particular sole plate go ahead and check out the forward reviews and just to show you guys the sprint frame on the the my coach one again it's identical to the my coach two nothing has changed there this is really what makes the shoe as lightweight as it is as far as the uppers are concerned the reason why i wasn't a big fan of the my coach one is because i felt like the design was a little bit flawed um, they label it as a leather soccer shoe and it definitely does have some leather to the upper but when i think about a leather soccer shoe um, for me, that implies that every single touch I make on the ball should have the feel of a leather soccer shoe. And that's just not the case with the Addy Zero My Coach 1 in leather, simply because there's just not enough leather on the boot. Um, you do have the leather spanning from basically on the instep, this seam right here, going around the entire four foot toe box, and then cutting off at about the same place on the outside of the boot. And honestly, that is not very much leather for something that is technically considered a leather soccer shoe. What leather is there is honestly pretty good quality. It's a Golio calfskin leather, which is gonna be the exact same leather used on both models here, so just keep that in mind. It has a little bit of a thicker quality to it than you might expect, um, but at, at the end of the day, it provides that nice soft touch on the ball, which is what you would want from a leather soccer shoe. The problem here is that there's not very much leather on the shoe, like I just explained. Um, a lot of the touches that you're gonna be making on the ball, either passing, shooting, controlling the ball are going to be on the insep of the foot and the insep of the foot on this particular model is a very thin synthetic material so while you do have this nice plush soft leather upper in the front of the shoe um, when you are making the majority of your controlled touches and passes it's going to feel like that of a synthetic soccer shoe which to me kind of defeats the purpose of buying the leather version um, again this is just my opinion a lot of people really did love this shoe but for me uh, it didn't really work as a leather soccer shoe. It was more of a synthetic leather hybrid, which some people like, and like I said, I'm personally not a big fan of that. As far as the Addy Zero My Coach 2 is concerned, they fixed the problem in that they made the entire upper leather, which is extremely important. You can see that the leather spans from right about this seam on the instep, goes the entire forefoot, midfoot area, toe box, and then goes exactly to about that same point on the outside of the boot. So all of the parts of your foot that are gonna be making contact with the ball are that nice, cushioned, soft, Golio calfskin leather, which is really, really important. Obviously, in terms of leather quality, there are better leather shoes out there, like kangaroo leather tends to be a little bit better. 
Um, a lot of shoes come to mind that are better in terms of leather quality, but in terms of the overall feel that this shoe is going to offer for a leather soccer shoe, it is very, very good. Again, for how lightweight it is, it provides a surprisingly cushioned feel on the ball, which is something that I'm a really big fan of. I really loved playing with this shoe. If you like leather soccer shoes, or you've always been skeptical to try something out lightweight, simply because you really like leather soccer shoes, I would definitely look into the leather Adi Zero My Coach too, because it is going to provide that quality touch that you're looking for. And of course you do have the leather tongue as well. So your entire foot is wrapped in leather, all the parts that are important, and really it does offer, like I said, that true leather touch on the ball, which is something that we've yet to see from any of the leather Adi Zeros. So for that reason, I do applaud the Adi Zero My Coach too. As far as the fit is concerned, I will talk about that a little bit more in the on-feet portion, and we'll move on to a quick weigh-in so you can see what the differences are in terms of weight. The Adi Zero has always been about being as light as possible, and in terms of the overall feel that both of these shoes are going to provide, it is going to be that of a very lightweight soccer shoe. Obviously the leather models are not as light technically as the synthetic models, but in terms of the actual weight that you're going to be able to feel when the shoes are on your feet, there's not a whole lot of difference here. Um, both shoes are extremely light, both on feet and in hand, and if you're looking to be nice and lightweight, you're going to get that from both of these shoes, so just keep that in mind. As far as comparing the weight between both of these two shoes is concerned, honestly in hand and on feet they feel almost identical, so we're going to show you on the scale exactly what they do weigh. Keep in mind both pairs are used pairs in a size 9 US, so we'll throw the My Coach 1 on the scale so you can see what it weighs in real time, and it weighs in at 6.9 ounces. Um, so keep that, just remember that, and we'll throw on the My Coach 2, and you can see that it weighs in at 7.1 ounces, so 0.2 ounces more than the Adi Zero My Coach 1 in leather, and the reason for that obviously is because there's just a lot more leather on the soccer shoe. Um, mostly what makes this shoe really, really light is the sprint frame, but obviously when you use a leather upper as opposed to the synthetic, it definitely does add a little bit more weight. Just keep in mind that that 0.2 ounces difference between the two models is pretty much nothing. That's basically less than the weight of a pair of shoelaces, which is definitely not something that you're gonna be able to notice either in hand and especially not on feet. So that's kind of the comparison as far as weight is concerned. They pretty much weigh exactly the same thing. And we'll move on to the on feet portion so you can get an idea of how they fit. All right, here's a look at the My Coach 1 and 2 on feet. And as far as what the one major difference is that makes the My Coach 2 so much better than the My Coach 1 for me, it has to be the overall fit of the shoe. The problem with the My Coach 1 is that it had a really harsh transition between leather and synthetic. You can see there's this really kind of awkward cutoff point on the shoe itself, which kind of isolates the leather. So the leather will soften up and stretch, but the problem is because it's isolated, this is really a high wear zone on the shoe, it tends to overstretch over time, whereas the synthetic parts of the shoe kind of remain exactly intact and don't tend to stretch at all. So while the shoe did fit properly, if you did go true size from right out of the box, after about a month or so of wear, I found that the leather section on the shoe tended to overstretch, which in turn can lead to some durability issues that some people were having. And just as a whole, I feel like the fit was not up to par as far as a leather soccer shoe and what it should be um, in comparison to other shoes on the market. As far as the My Coach 2 is concerned, it solves that issue in that the entire upper is made out of the same material. So when the shoe does start to stretch, the entire shoe stretches at one time, not allowing anything to overstretch, which is really, really important. And you can see that Adidas put these stripes on the outside, which a lot of people question, but I feel like the main reasoning for that was to not allow the shoe to overstretch or that synthetic material. So while the rest of the shoe will stretch, these stripes will kind of hold it in place a little bit and act as kind of like a overstretching prevention unit on the shoe, if you do want to call it that. But as a whole, the shoe really does fit good, especially in comparison to the My Coach one, which again, I wasn't a big fan of. I know some people didn't have such negative um, things to say about the My Coach one, but like I said, just wasn't a big fan of the shoe as a whole. Other than that, as far as width is concerned, I definitely would say the My Coach one is a wider fitting shoe in comparison to the two, but uh, not a huge difference in terms of width. Um, just as long as you don't have an overly wide foot, you should be able to fit pretty nicely into either of these two shoes. As far as sizing is concerned, um, they definitely do both fit true to size from right out of the box. Because of the issue of overstretching with the My Coach 1, I definitely would recommend going half a size down just to avoid any kind of issues with overstretching. They might feel a little bit tight at first, but in the long run, it's going to be much better. Um, as far as the fit and the heel is concerned, it's pretty much the same again. Um, the Adi Zero My Coach 2 does have a 
more smooth, more streamlined heel liner on the inside. There's no rubbing spots or anything like that, so it is a little bit better in that respect. But other than that, they feel very, very similar in the heel section of the shoes. And of course, they do only include the comfort insole with both models, so just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion is concerned, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right guys, well that's it for my comparison video between the My Coach 1 and 2 in leather. I think it's definitely fair to say that I do prefer the 2 over the 1 for obvious reasons if you did watch the video. As far as more information on this shoe is concerned, like I said, there is a full written review down below in the description where you're going to get that full detailed review. You're also going to find the high quality images of this particular shoe that'll give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including some exclusive coupon codes if you do want a per to purchase a pair of these shoes, you will get some extra discounts. Um, as far as more on the My Coach 2 is concerned, I do have some other comparison videos that I will leave annotated on the screen if you do want to check those out. If you do have any questions regarding either of these two shoes, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Other than that, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram already, my Instagram is Josh, just like my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check me out there. Uh, look me up or you will find a link in the description of that as well. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.